Okay, everybody, welcome to another review. Um, this is uh, five, one of the five reviews that I'm going to do today. I got a lot of requests. And uh, one of them was Panda Cloud Antivirus. And I want to keep these to one video, so I'm going to go quick through the install process. I got like 15 URLs to test. So what I'm going to do to save time is I'm going to pause the install process pause the video while it's installing and if anything important comes up I, uh, I'll i uh, unpause uh, the video so I'll see you in a second okay so the installer completed very simple user interface here you got a settings tab which is basically for internet explorer for uh, internet settings if you need a proxy and that type of stuff it's got a scan tab it's got a report tab and it's got a everything's okay tab if you push the little blue arrow over here to the right you can flip it over and get inside the recycle bin slash quarantine area. So, as it's all set, I am connected to the internet because this is a cloud antivirus. So let's get started on some of these. I'm going to go fast through these, so... Um, on, that one's dead. Okay, that one works. Let's move on here. That one's going to take a little bit to download. Okay, so it did neutralize a virus, so that's good. That one got neutralized. This one's still downloading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one that doesn't work at the top. And we will continue. Okay, that one... Looks like it doesn't work. Actually, that other one got neutralized. Yep, so it did get neutralized, and it's not that it doesn't work, it actually got stopped. Let's see what happens with that one this one right here ff2ie.exe okay nothing on that one we'll run this one this one's all screwy uh, sure we'll see what happens here Whatever that was, made it through and got installed. Language pack wants to get installed. This one's a bigger download, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to move on. IP armor, it's a fake rogue from who knows where.
looks like, whatever that last one is, also made it through. So what I got here is um, I got malware bytes ready to do a scan later. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a full scan with Panda and see if it finds anything. I'll pause the video while it's scanning and uh, it will be back. Oh look, it neutralized two things. That's good. These are still being, they're still trying to find information on that. But two more got neutralized here, let's see. So that's good. And uh, we'll just let it scan here and I'll pause the video. See you in a second. Okay, so the full scan finished. It did neutralize one thing that it found during the scan. So uh, let's see here what we got in quarantine. We should have some stuff over in quarantine. Yep, as you can see we do. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install Malwarebytes. And we will see if Panda missed anything. So I'm going to just install it fast like I can normally do. I see a link here on uh, the desktop that shouldn't be there. Or an icon, whatever you want to call it. it links to the internet from the looks of it. Yeah, at the 369.com. Whatever that is. Okay. So we're going to perform a scan here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the malware byte scan just finished. You can see it says it found 26 infections. Let's take a look and see what they are. Okay, we do have a Trojan downloader here, program files. We have a, uh, so we got something in Recycler here. We got another one in System. We got Kubeface is installed. Uh, we got some temporary internet files, more Kubeface stuff. The so face Trace, um, Trojan.agent, Kubeface, homepage got changed probably. So as you can see, there's some main, some nasty stuff still left on the computer here. As you can see, I still have two instances of uh, Internet Explorer running, even though I don't have it running. As you can see, there's nothing there. And there's a game.exe running. I mean, there's some stuff in here. So as of right now, um, I would give Panda like a 5. Uh, it is easy to use. It's still in beta, so I don't know how it's been in beta forever as I can remember. But uh, without offering some, you know, true protection on my end here, and what happens if I get disconnected from the internet? This completely doesn't work anymore because it relies on the internet connection to get all, all of his statistics, so it has to incorporate something a little bit better, maybe something that can fix the internet, like Winsock, like Winsock fix, or uh, and then maybe incorporate like a HIPS or a behavior blocker or something in it that can at least protect me somewhat if the internet goes down until I can get some other software like Malwarebytes or whatever to fix it. So um, that's my review for uh, Panda Cloud Antivirus. I'm gonna keep going on my other ones, and I'll talk to you guys later.